celebrities getting tattoos while under anesthesia is becoming more common. Rapper Tyga underwent anesthesia for eight hours for a back tattoo. And NFL quarterback Dak Prescott went under for 11 hours to get a leg tattoo. It's a fairly new concept, but is it safe? Anesthesia is really a lot more complicated than just flipping a switch like turning off a light. But those who have the, the money, the fame, they will find the places where they can get this safely done, okay? Uh, but still, there is always that inherent risk. For tattoo artists, it may be a new tool, but it doesn't come without skepticism. And if there's some ne negative things that come about from this, it will reflect poorly upon us professionals who are trying to do it safely. So it's important for clients to make sure they ask the right questions. Questions will be who is going to be administering the medication? Uh, what kind of sedation are they providing? Um, are they licensed? Are they trained in this? So what about the price tag? I, mean, I think somewhere around $40,000, right, is to is kind of the, the price tag on some of these processes. Despite the cost, Dr. Bear does think this could be a growing trend. You know, the whole picture is done. You don't have to come back multiple times, and I can see how somebody might see some value in that.